And as part of my responsibilities as the support services commander, I am also the overseer of the uh, special response team, otherwise known as SRT. Some agencies call them SWAT. Um, there's various uh, acronyms that are used, but we are the SRT here in Brunswick. And we're an emergency response team. Um, it's not always associated with um, hostage barricade type scenarios or counterterrorism. Um, it could just be a rescue, a high risk rescue. And we have a vehicle, we have a ballistic vehicle that was obtained and um, it's very, uh, it's, very it's, a, it's an anomaly that we get to use it, which is a good thing, uh, but when we do need it, it is, um, it is very valuable to us. And it's nothing that we would need to uh, reach out to an outside agency to come in for. Um, Portland does have uh, a couple of these vehicles. There are, the state has some that are available, but we have our own, so we don't need to wait. If there's an emergency and we need to get in, we have this vehicle that can respond. Um, as part of the special response team, uh, with Brunswick, we do have agreements with other teams in the state, and we do assist each other. We um, don't respond to a lot of calls, but when we do, when we're needed, uh, we have a very quick response. We train. Um, we have an extensive uh, training program. It's done monthly, and those guys are at the top of their game, and they're ready to go uh, when needed. Uh, part of the special response team is the crisis negotiations team, also known as CNT. The crisis negotiations team, um, though affiliated with the SRT, is its own separate unit, and that's run by Lieutenant Mears. And that team there, again, they train monthly. Um, they are used uh, quite often if there's a situation where, whether it's a suicidal subject or just someone that uh, we need to communicate with in a high-risk environment, we can always call the CNT to come in and initiate contact. Um, again, we do work uh, in conjunction with one another, so the CNT and the SRT does work together. Uh, it's possible they might be operating out of the vehicle at times, depending on the scenario. Um, with that said, um, we don't respond just to emergency calls here in Brunswick. If there's a rescue in another jurisdiction and they need us, we will respond. Um, our, again, our officers are, are very well trained. Uh, there's some government trainings available to us, and uh, we take advantage of every opportunity we can. There are a lot of grants available. We're always keeping our eyes open for grants, and when we get this uh, grant money, we find an officer that's, uh, um, that needs the training or that we want to have the training, and we, we, we send them. It's invaluable. It's nothing that we can do in-house a lot of times, so we take advantage of these training opportunities as they present themselves. Uh, the special response team also works in conjunction with the UAV unit, which is the uh, drone. And um, we have a very good unit. That uh, These units are very cohesive. They work well together. And again, as a support services commander, it's uh, sort of my responsibility to make sure that um, the, all these units work well together.